Dan Davies, PJ Professional here at the Chase Golf Club. Today I'm going to show you how to strike your irons pure um, and give you one little drill and a good setup to make sure that that's uh, going to be the case. So there's going to be two key setup points that we're going to look at today and it's going to be ball position and posture. So we'll start with ball position, relatively simple. I want you to make sure that this golf ball for your seven iron down to your wedges is in the center of your stance, so in line with your sternum or your nose. So that's going to make sure we get a good solid contact on the back of the ball. If it's too far forwards, we'll tend to bottom out before the golf ball. If it's too far back, we'll tend to get a little bit steep, ball come out a little bit too low and might be able to stop the other side. Um, second thing is the posture. So a lot of golfers I see tend to focus too much about the golf swing and neglect the posture. So. A lot of people, the most common one we see is this C-shaped posture here. So see how my back's rounded? What happens then is it restricts the turn in the backswing. Then on the way through, we use the arms a little bit too much and then we end up catching the ground before the golf ball. Or if we miss the ground, we'll end up catching the ball on the rise and we'll end up catching the ball a little bit thin. So great little drill to give you for your posture, little routine is get your normal distance away from the ball, stand up nice and tall, Feel like you almost pull your shoulders up, roll them back. Feel like the shoulder blades being squeezed together. That will push the chest out. I want you then to put a little bit of knee flex in the knees. From there, the shaft's going to be parallel to the ground. Hands are going to be in line with your belt buckle. From there, what you're going to do, you're going to hinge at the hips. Your chest is going to fall down towards the golf ball and your hips are going to be pushed backwards. So, we're not going to lower the club by moving the hands and arms. What we're going to do is hips go back, chest goes down. See how I've created great lines there between my back, my hips and my legs. From there we just drop the club behind the golf ball. And from there, what I've done is I've created a really athletic position where I can rotate and create a full turn. So go through it again. Shaft parallel to the ground, hands in line with your back, with a little bit of knee flex. Make sure the shoulders are back, almost pinned back, shoulder blades feeling like they're pinching together. From there, hips go backwards, chest goes down towards the ball. So the club will get about a foot away from the ball, then we simply just drop the club behind the ball. So once you've got your good athletic posture that's going to give you the best chance of striking the ball nice and cleanly, what we're going to do is we're going to place a towel down just behind the golf ball. And what this is going to do, it's going to act as almost a block. So we want to be, the ball needs to be about two club heads in front of the tail. And what this is going to do, it's going to stop the club bottoming out before the golf ball. You're catching the ground before the ball, or if we bottom out before, miss the ground, we catch it a little bit thin. So it's going to get rid of the fat and the thin shot. So go through your posture drill. Make sure we give ourselves the best chance of hitting a good shot. From there, your job, full turn, full shot, miss the towel and strike the golf ball. Pull that a little bit. <coughs> but I had good solid contact on the golf ball. So two club heads, don't cheat and put it way too far forward. So roughly two club heads. Good posture, go through that drill. Miss the tap. So let me know how that goes. Um, you should have better posture, better ball striking, and improve your scores on the golf course.